Hello, Phil Hinkle here from ProDad and ProDrenaline.com. I've got an advanced tutorial for you tonight on the new ProDrenaline V2 Plus software. We just completed our release of the software and there was a basic tutorial included and I hinted at an advanced tutorial or two and here is the first one. Today we're going to talk about storyboards. We're going to use the storyboard down here to do some really cool stuff. So let's get started and see what we got. First thing I want to show you, see this little film strip right here? If I click that, look what it does. During video import, the scene changes are detected. Each scene is saved as a video clip. So what I can do is I can import an entire video and every time it changes scenes, ProDrenaline V2 Plus is going to try and separate it out into separate clips. So let's give that a try. I've got a copy of a video I built. Some, a friend sent me some GoPro footage. He took his family to the local go-kart track and shot some film with his GoPro 4 Black on medium mode instead of wide, so there's not a whole lot of fisheye in it. And just sent me all the footage, and I built a little story out of it, kind of a, a beginning, opening, and then chasing him, his wife and his son around in another car while he had his daughter, and then an ending where they pull into the pits. And I thought it was a neat little story and would be perfect to show for the storyboard feature in Pro Adrenaline. What I've done is I've exported that clip, and as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. So what we're looking for in Pro Adrenaline are 11 clips to be separated out from this one file that we're sending it. I've already encoded it, got it ready for import. So I'm going to come back to Pro Adrenaline. I'm going to turn on my scene detection and click here to open files. It's called Go Karts with Robert. So I'm going to open that and let it turn away and find all my scenes. And we're back. It is all sorted out and cut up into clips. Let's see how many clips we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh oh. We had eleven clips back here, so something must have went a little bit awry in the process. If I remember right, in this clip here, it has a little bit of trouble picking up that scene change right in here somewhere. We can go a frame at a time using our arrow keys on the keyboard, which is a cool new feature in version 2 plus as well. And as I arrow through, you will see the scene jump. For some reason, Pro Adrenaline did not pick up that scene jump. But there's a way we can fix that. We click right here on the cut video clip at the current time. And you can see we now have an 11th clip out here. What I'm going to do is grab that and drag it over next to that. So everything is still in the correct sequence as it should be. Obviously it didn't break me up into 11 clips like I wish it would have because scene detection is not a perfect science. I've used professional editing systems for many years and if you have to do automated scene detection like that not based on time code I haven't found one that did it perfectly yet so I'm not complaining and saying that that is something wrong with Pro Adrenaline. it's just the nature of the game when you're talking about scene detection based on information. So now we have our 11 scenes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, let's watch this first clip. Okay, we see some uh, CMOS issues and some vibrations in there. I'm going to randomly pick another clip and it looks like we would have some CMOS issues in there. To keep things simple, for this particular tutorial, I'm going to use the same CMOS processing on every clip. Before we get into the fixes, I wanted to show you a couple of things with the storyboard. You can see we've got 11 clips in our source media over here in these tabs. We've got effects, information, source media, and target media. Going back to source media, if I unclick this clip, you can see the clip on the storyboard has gray opaque lines through it. If I uncheck the next one they both do what would happen is if I were to export right now it would only export nine files see that because I have deactivated two so I want to keep all my clips in this particular video that I'm making so I'm going to check those back on 
All right, this is where the fun really starts. I'm going to go back to my Start menu, and now I have learned a couple of little tricks with ProDrenaline V2 Plus that I'm going to show you that is going to speed up your processing immensely. Okay, this is where things get really neat. Watch this. I'm going to click on my first clip, hold down the Shift key, which is standard Windows functionality, click on the last clip, and you see I've highlighted all 11 clips now. So the first thing I want to do is go select the camera I used. So I'm going to come up here to select my camera. It was a GoPro Hero 4, and he was in medium mode because I noticed there wasn't a lot of fish eye, and I followed up and asked him, and sure enough, he was on medium mode that day. So we're going to select medium mode and turn on our remove fish eye. We can see it's cropped in and straightened our image a little bit. Now watch this. Not only is that on the first clip, it's on that clip, it's on that clip. So I have now set my camera for every clip. Now here's another little trick to know about the new version of ProDrenaline V2 Plus. If we come up here to our camera selection and click Save, if I have a GoPro 4 and I use medium all the time, I can click Save there and every time I start ProDrenaline V2 Plus, it's going to come up defaulted to the GoPro Hero 4 medium. If you always use wide, set it to wide. Obviously, if you bring stuff in that is different, you're going to have to go in and change that. But if there's a particular, if there's a particular brand of camera with a setting like narrow, medium, wide that you, you use frequently, this can save you a lot of time. Let's select our first clip, go back to the beginning, and look at some of the footage. As you can see, there's some CMOS issues in there. Of course, there's a lot of movement that we're going to work on, but there's some CMOS, there's some shake, there's some wobble. So to keep things simple, I know I'm going to need that. I'm just going to highlight all my clips. Maybe one or two of those clips doesn't need the same processing. To make it simple, I'm just going to select them all and say everybody's going to get the same processing in this particular story because all my footage is very similar. It was shot with a selfie stick and a GoPro riding around in a go-kart so you can kind of get the idea that everything's going to sort of match up. So I'm just going to come up here to my rolling shutter compensation. I'm going to turn everything on. That means I'm going to get the most intense CMOS fixing functionality that ProDrenaline V2 Plus can give me. I'm also, while all my clips are highlighted, I'm going to click the stabilization button. I'm going to click cancel on that because I don't want to process everything right now. But look, if I click through all of my clips because they were highlighted, stabilization is activated as well as rolling shutter compensation on every one of those. One more thing I'm going to do, highlight all my clips. Now watch this. I'm going to come up here and make my colors a little bit better. I'm going to click on Intensive Color Enhancer. And look at that. Now once again, I come down to my clips here in the timeline. Every one of them, see if I turn it off for this particular clip, you can see it's been activated. Every one of my clips has the intensive turned on, so I've done a quick and simple color correction on all my clips by just highlighting them all and clicking intensive. We could do more by coming over here and clicking on our effects palette. We're not going there in this tutorial. We'll save that one for another day. Now that I've highlighted all my clips, I've selected my camera, I've removed the fisheye, I've set intensive color enhancer, the maximum rolling shutter compensation to fix the CMOS issues, and I'm going to stabilize every clip. Here's the, where it gets even better. All I do is come up here and say, Analyze All Media. Click that, and what it's going to do now is it's going to go through all 11 of my clips. Analyze them, fix them, and get them ready for export. That's going to take a few minutes. On my particular computer, an i7 Gen 3 laptop, it's going to take about 14 or so minutes. When it's done, we'll come back and continue the tutorial. Okay, that's all done processing now. As we can see, all of our clips are in good shape. Let's click on one, see how it plays. Looks pretty good. We can, of course, do some compares if we want to and see the difference we made in our video and it is a noticeable improvement on many levels. I'm going to turn that back off to view the result only and now it is time to export our footage. We've done all the processing we need. 
I'm going to come up here and click on export. You can see I have 11 files and I'm going to combine the videos. So instead of getting 11 single clips like you see down here, I'm going to get one long clip that goes from clip to clip to clip to clip all the way through number 11. I can click on setup and decide what kind of file I want to export. 264 MP4 looks good. I don't need to use audio, so I'm going to turn that off because I'm actually going to select a song later on to put on this video. I'm going to leave the medium recommended setting and click save and close. Now, here's where it gets really fun. If I select upload automatically to YouTube, when it's done exporting, it's going to automatically upload to my YouTube account that I'm already signed in on. So I'm going to click on Start Export. It's going to come out and ask me where I want to put it. I have a Prodrenaline V2 Advanced folder. I'm going to make a subfolder called Finals, which is what I always do for file organization. And I'm going to call this Go Carton and save. Now it's going to sit and churn through all 11 of those files making one big long file and then we'll pick it back up when it does the YouTube thing. And our export is just finishing up momentarily here, just a matter of seconds and it will be done. And there it's all done and now watch what happens. My spinning circle is going while things are loading up and we have a YouTube upload. It's now currently uploading. It knows my account because I'm logged in. It will take a few minutes to upload. It could be quicker if you have a faster upload speed than I do. I only have four megs up, so it will take a few minutes to upload a file. And our YouTube upload is just about done momentarily. It will wrap up and we will continue on to the next step. It says completed, close. So now I will go to my YouTube channel, click on my channel, and here I am on my YouTube channel. As you can see, it's not available yet, but if I go to my video manager, we will see that it is processing. It's currently 44%, 45% done. It's almost completed. If I click on edit, then I can do other things like add a description, go kart fun with Robert in Wisconsin Dells. And we can do whatever you need to do within YouTube to get it ready to go. Once it's done and processed, we can come back and add that music that I was talking about, which is a feature in YouTube. If you've uploaded to YouTube, you know how that all works. I'm going to leave out there and come back to Pro Adrenaline. One last thing I did want to show you here within Pro Adrenaline before we wrap it up. There is a new feature that I find very attractive. If I come up here to Project, I can save my project now. So I'm going to go to my advanced tutorial folder and I'm going to call this storyboard project. And what it does is it saves this project off. I'm going to close that and just for fun, I'm going to close Pro Adrenaline. Now I'm going to come back and fire up Pro Adrenaline version 2 again just to show you how that works. Okay, now watch this. Project, open project, and here's recent projects, but if we want to, just to show you proof of concept, I can go to Storyboard Project Pro Adrenaline, open, and all of my content and settings and everything are back you will have to go back and reanalyze your footage. Where this comes in really handy is if you're working on something one day and you have to wrap it up and come back another day and finish up a project or if you've got something you're doing in bits and pieces over the course of a couple of days. You can have everything in one place 
and start and stop the project again this is a really nice feature that I really do like and I'm so glad they made it available in version 2 as you saw today it was very simple to import media let it scene detect highlight all my clips set my camera set my fisheye stabilize set my CMOS analyze everything at one time and then export right to YouTube it took a little time because everything has to churn away because we had a significant number of clips but the process is simple and easy if you only had a couple of short clips you could have it out to YouTube in just a matter of a few mouse clicks and boom you're done so this new storyboard feature in Pro Adrenaline is worth taking a look at and playing with a little bit yourself and you'll see just how quick and simple it is to get basic videos from your action camera produced and out to YouTube without doing a whole lot of work. It's very simple, very quick, very easy. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial and we'll see you for the next one.